In this video we're going to add vectors a, b, and c graphically. To do that the first thing we have to do is come up with a scale. I'll be working on a sheet of paper and I'll be using a protractor with a 10 centimeter ruler. So I think uh, in order to make sure it fits on the paper, I think I want to make all the vectors smaller or equal to 10 centimeters. So looking at the biggest of the vectors, 500 meters, I think a scale of 50 meters being represented by one centimeter on the paper would be a good scale. That would make this vector 10 centimeters long. 450 meters would be represented by 9 centimeters. And 200 meters would be represented by 4 centimeters. The next thing I want to do is figure out where I should start on my page. I see my vectors go south of east and east of south. So if I make north to the top of my paper, and east to the right of my paper, then I'll be going down and to the right, and down and to the right, and then I'll be going to the west. So if I start in the upper left hand corner of my paper somewhere, I think I should be able to keep these vectors on the page. Now vector A is 37 degrees south of east, so I'll start by drawing a dotted line that's pointed eastward. I'll put my protractor with the hole right over my starting point and zero degrees right on the east line and I'll measure 37 degrees south. Now starting from my starting point and heading to that dot I put there at 37 degrees I'll draw a vector 9 centimeters. And so there we have it, that's vector A 37 degrees south of east. Vector B now is 500 meters at 70 degrees east of south. And so from the head of my first vector, I draw a line that is directly south. This will be a dotted line that I'll use to measure 70 degrees east of. So this heads south. I put the hole for my protractor right on the head of my last vector and zero degrees right on south. and I'll measure 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 degrees east or south, heading in that direction 10 centimeters. So this is vector B, which is 70 degrees east or south. Vector C 200 meters, which is represented by 4 centimeters, directly west. So here, just point the protractor to the left and draw a vector 4 centimeters. There's vector C. Okay, now the resultant goes from the starting point to the ending point, just a little further than my protractor can reach. So I'll have to do it by going most of the way and then moving my protractor and connecting it back to the starting point. And remember, the resultant goes from the starting point to the ending point, so make sure you have your arrowhead down here. To figure out the magnitude of the resultant, I'll have to measure it. From the starting point to here is 10 centimeters. And then from that point to the end is 5.4 centimeters, so the total length is 15.4 centimeters. Remember that one centimeter represents 50 meters on my paper. And so 15.4 centimeters will represent 770 meters in real life. The next thing I want to do is measure the angle that my resultant makes. So I see that my resultant goes south of east. I'll hold my protractor with zero degrees on east. And I'll measure how many degrees south. I see it's about 34 degrees. So my final answer, my resultant, is 770 meters at 34 degrees south of the east line. 